say we have a spring that looks like that, and we put an object of mass m on the spring, so we put the object of mass m and we, and we can press the spring by an amount, uh, let's call that x naught, and, and then we release the, the object and the spring force will push the object upwards and we want to know how far the object travels after it leaves the spring. So it will obviously travel a distance x naught, at which point the object will be launched upwards and we want to know what that is. So this is just uh, a conservation of energy. So initially we have, if we decide to call this ground level, so if this is ground level, uh, then we have that, let's say the spring constant is K naught. And so the initial energy is one half K naught X naught squared. And the final energy is just gravitational potential energy, mg times the total height, but we want to write that in terms of um, the additional y the object travels. We want to know what the additional y is that the object travels from, well, from where the spring is when it's uncompressed, but the total height is is that distance plus x naught, because the object travels upwards a distance x naught. So that is the total gravitational potential energy, and we're just solving for y. So we have k naught x naught squared over 2 minus mg x naught, and that's equal to mgy, and so we'll divide by mg, and we'll get that y equals to k naught x naught squared over 2 mg minus uh, x naught.